Okay. Going to take a road trip, creating this video, what it's like to live in Buford versus Bluffton, South Carolina. I'm taking the grueling trip over to Buford, 40 minutes. I'm gonna live in Buford for a night. And we're gonna walk the streets, check it out, see what's over there, and then put it in the video compared to living in Bluffton. And we'll see what you think. So if you're interested, stay tuned. You might wanna subscribe, give a thumbs up. Google likes it when you give a thumbs up or make a comment. Anyway, stay tuned and uh, we're gonna find out what it's like to live in Buford versus Bluffton. First stop on our trip is Habersham. I have a lot of uh, clients that are passing through Bluffton, Hilton Head, and they tell me, I'm gonna go over to see Habersham, Beaufort, places like that. Let me get one thing really clear. It's pronounced Buford. So not Beaufort. I know it looks like Beaufort, but it's Buford down here. So anyway, I'm in Habersham right now, and I must say I'm very impressed. I've never been here before, but I drove in here, and it reminds me of a place I used to work in Florida, a very, very upscale community called Windsor, and the land planner was Andres Duani, and his company um, developed this new urbanism style and that's what this is. The minute I drove in here I said this is Duani uh, because we were trained on new urbanism uh, down in Florida in this particular place called Windsor and this is it. This is the completed product right here. Uh, price range in Habersham is about 500000 up to currently they have a house for sale for a million three. Uh, $1,400 a year is the HOA in here. There are restaurants, post office, things to do in this entire area. There'll be a thousand, I'm gonna call them units, homes total when it's all said and done. And um, this is getting back to the old days, European days where you know your neighbor and they know you instead of living on an acre lot um, you walk out your front door and your neighbor's sitting on the porch there's sidewalks, you can walk to the village, you can drive your golf cart around I mean it's very impressive um, uh, downtown Buford is 15 minutes away um, but between here and Buford, there really isn't a whole lot. I mean, South Carolina is a very rural state. So, but this little enclave of homes is very impressive. You are in Buford County. Charter One does have an office in Buford County. If you want additional information on Habersham, you can contact the John Weber team. We'll put the graphics on the screen. But th this, is a, this is an interesting one. If you don't want to live near Hilton Head Island, um, Bluffton, and you like this new urbanism look, um, and you want to be near Buford, I mean, you know, well, we've got a lot to offer around here. So. Um, this is part of our trip and we'll just shoot some more video and it'll be in this particular video and you'll get a good look at uh, Habersham. restaurant called Lost Local right on the main street here in Buford and um, having what they call crack fries. I'm gonna have blackened fish tacos right out of the water over here. My wife is gonna have fish tacos, blackened fish tacos, but I have to read you what I'm drinking this beer. Okay, come right in. Thank you. All right, so what I'm drinking, this is a crack up. Low Country Craft, River Dog Brewing Company. It is peanut butter percolate, milk 
cream stout with peanut butter. And actually, it's very good. I wouldn't want to drink a six pack, but this is awesome with my crack fries. Lost Local, a cool little find here in uh, Buford. We stayed here in Buford at the Anchorage 1770, built in 1770, pre-revolution. Uh, as a matter of fact, Buford was um, really started in 1710 and chartered in 1711, second oldest city in South Carolina. I have to believe Charleston edges it out for number one city. But anyway, uh, this was fabulous. Uh, there's another hotel here called the Buford Inn that allows families, uh, children. This one, I believe, is no children. They have 12 rooms. Um, the restaurant here is called uh, the Rebo, R-I-B-A-U-T, Rebo Social Club. You walk in and there's a small room there for a dining room and you're going, that's it? That's... But it was great. I mean, this is well known in town. Great chef. We had a fabulous dinner in here and we had a fabulous breakfast because breakfast comes with it. So you're right on the water across the street here. Um, there, I'm staring, you can't see it, but there's a Best Western right there. There's a lot of hotels, but if you want authenticity, Buford, uh, this is pretty cool. It's completely refurbished and really, really nice bed and breakfast. So highly recommend Anchorage 1770. It's awesome and the food was great also. So I'm here in Buford now in an area called the Old Point. Very historical area here, tons of oak trees. I'm standing in front of Robert Small's house. Robert Small was raised as a slave. This is a national landmark now. It's also a private residence. Raised as a slave, learned how to command a ship, stole the ship, went and rescued hundreds of slaves, and uh, came back here was a free man, bought this house, and um, he tended to his former owner's wife who was sick in that house and, be, and went on to become a senator in South Carolina until 2010. Uh, pretty amazing story, uh, but that's part of the Buford history and everything else. So, uh, Robert Smalls, good story. I think that's about it from here. Uh, this was strictly an overview. I mean, on Buford, I'd make a lot of videos about Bluffton, but um, Buford, there's a lot to it. So this was a short video on what it's like to live in Buford versus Bluffton. And I would summarize this video by saying that Buford is completely awesome historical town. Um, there's an area called the Old Point, I mean, it's just so thick with the Spanish moss and the oaks and things like that. Uh, Bay Street is a tourist area, tourist t-shirt shops, things like that. Uh, you have to get into Buford a little bit more in the historical areas, full of history. There's a big bridge that goes over the river to Ladies Island. I'm not really impressed with Ladies Island. I don't think it's that great. Um, uh, Buford to live in the historical area would be cool. Um, Ladies Island, I'm not too sure about. Habersham is very nice. Uh, Dawta Island, it, from here, Dawta Island, I mean, I'm standing right here at the Market Cafe, and Dawta Island's gonna be a good 20 minutes. I mean, it's out there, and I've had clients that call me and say, wow, it's out there. It's very nice, it's older, but if you come into town to have a great dinner and then you drive back to Dawta, I mean, you know, it's a bit of a drive, but still very popular. So in my view, uh, Buford has the Dawta Island, the Habersham, various neighborhoods, the historical area, which is great. Um, but if you get out of this Buford centric area here with the historical homes and restaurants and things like that, you're just, it's traffic. It's a lot of traffic. I mean, it's South Carolina. It is uh, a rural state and a lot of people come to Buford and check it out. They just do. 
a lot of people go to Hilton Head also. So people go to the nice places. But yeah, Bluffton is very unique because you have access to one of the best beaches in the United States. You ha you're on the mainland. You have the cutest town ever. Of course, I'm selling Bluffton. Charter One does have an office over here in Buford. And if Buford is an area you want to explore, you can contact the John Weber team and we'll put you in touch with the right people to find a home for you. But uh, Bluffton's tough to beat. It really is when you consider everything. So many gated communities, not so many gated communities around here. More historical town. Um, the beach is a good ways also, but you can get to the beach from here. Anyway, that is it. Um, trying to think if I left anything out. One last thing here. This is another great spot, Market Cafe. It's uh, very, very good food. And it's a little market. You can buy things and take it back to your room or home or whatever you want. And it's right here uh, on the main road. So anyway, John Weber signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up down below. Make a comment. Any ideas on a future video, let me know. Subscribe to the station. And we'll see you in the low country. Hopefully this gave you some ideas about Buford. Because a lot of people like to come over and explore. It's great. But tough to beat Bluffton.